Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Faraz Ahmad. So today we are going to discuss about the cementation of hematemesis. But before that, let me tell you, some people are confused regarding the approach which I am discussing in my videos of the cement. So uh, let me tell you that when you will come to the hospital and you will work in the NHS, when you will go for the BLS course, you will see that same approach will be taught to you people. So I am following the approach which was taught to me by one of my senior who is working in the NHS and uh, my senior has also uh, taken the course of the BLS. So this is the best approach. This is the approach of the BLS course and the NHS hospital. So please, without any worries, follow this approach. And please keep in mind that I scored 11 out of 12 in my Sinman station. And I follow the same approach. So there are different approaches. I'm not saying that those approaches are the wrong approaches. I am talking about the best approach which is being followed in NHS and in the BLS course. So I am following their approach and I am discussing with my uh, colleagues and with my doctors who are watching my videos. So let's discuss the hematemesis station keeping in mind the approach which is the best approach. So let's move to the video. So this is the general approach of the same and you can read this general approach from your screen or you can watch the video on the general approach. You can find the link in the upper right corner. So keeping in view this general approach now we will discuss about the hematemesis station in the same man. So hematemesis patient can present in two type of the scenarios. Hematemesis patient can come after the endoscopy procedure or patient can come without the endoscopy as well. Patient will give the history like patient is a chronic uh, user of the painkillers and now patient presented with the episodes of the bloody vomit. So when there will be the scenario out of your room, you will read the scenario and you will enter the room. So when you will enter the room, what you will do? First of all, after entering the room, you will loudly say examiner, assume I have taken all the universal precautions. So this is the first thing, patient safety is the first thing. So you will tell the examiner loudly that examiner, I am a safe doctor. So after doing this, you will introduce and you will acknowledge you will introduce to whom you will introduce to the patient who is the patient patient is the same man so what you will say you will say hello it's dr ahmad uh, one of the doctor in this department i can see that you are vomiting you will introduce yourself and you will acknowledge you will say that i can see that you are vomiting could you please confirm your full name and age for me patient will reply adam doctor or any other patient uh, any other name of the patient so after this so you have done the introduction now you will start uh, the conversation you will say please tell me what happened to you please tell me what happened to you patient will give a brief history like patient can say doctor i underwent an uh, uh, endoscopy or i was taking painkillers for my knee pain this and that so you will take the more history you can ask when did it start how did it start what were you doing at the time these three questions are very very important you have to ask these three questions in any type of semen station and always ask mma medical condition medication and allergic status in every semen station after this you have to ask about smoker cough because on the basis of smoker cuff, if there is a uh, smoker cuff is positive in the patient, you will give oxygen with different mask. And if there is no smoker cuff, you will give with different mask. You will ask about the smoker cuff. Then you will say that ideally I would like to put my patient in the left lateral position. Because patient is vomiting, there are chances of hematemesis. You will say examiner, ideally I would like to put my patient in left lateral position. You will verbalize it. You cannot turn the same man, okay? So you will just verbalize it. After this, what you will say, Adam, I am going to assess you, okay? You will say, Adam, I am going to assess you. It will include look, feel, tab, and listen to different parts of your body. Please be assured a member of medical team is with me and he is acting as a chaperone and we are maintaining your privacy. You have to verbalize this in every type of case. So after this, what you will do? patient with uh, you you have taken the permission from patient now you will move toward the monitor and you will look at the monitor you and you can say i can see my patient is attached to the monitor and now i am going to start a b c d e approach so 
सो नाउ वी विल मूव टूवर्ड द ए बी सी डी ई प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दैट इट डिपेंड्स विच टाइप ऑफ केस यू आर डीलिंग इन सम केसेज योर मेन फोकस विल बी ऑन ए इन सम केसेज मेन फोकस शुड बी ऑन बी इन सम केसेज लाइक इन दिमेटी मैसेज पेशेंट इज वॉमिटिंग पेशेंट ब्लड प्रेशर इज लो सो योर मेन फोकस शुड बी ऑन द सी Although your main focus is C, but you still have to follow all the steps. So, as patient has no problem with the airway, you will do airway. You will say, "I can see my patient is talking to me. I assume that the airway is patent." After there is no need for head tilt and chin lift position because patient is talking to you. Now, what you will do? You will look at the oxygen saturation on the monitor. If oxygen saturation is low, please keep in mind. If oxygen saturation is low, what you will do? You will give twenty to four percent oxygen four liter via nasal cannula. This is the important point. Patient is vomiting. Please don't give patient non rebreather mask. If you are going to give the non rebreather mask in hematic mass station you will fail your station patient is vomiting so give nasal cannula if oxygen is normal we will straight away move toward the b so in the b because patient don't have any breathing problem we will just auscultate the chest what we will do adam i am going to unbutton your shirt to listen to your chest and in the b we have to order what we have to order chest x ray ecg and abg immediately you have to follow this step in the b so after doing the b now we are going toward the c c is the most important in the semen station as i mentioned previously so what you will do you will uh, check the perfusion pulse and the blood pressure you will say adam i am going to pinch your finger i am going to take your pulse and blood pressure after doing this you will see on the monitor and you will see that i can see that blood pressure is low and pulse is high so what you will do as blood pressure is low you will loudly verbalize that i am going to insert two large bore iv cannulas and when you are going to insert two large bore iv cannulas you will put two cannulas uh, on the cubital fossa of your patient bilaterally and you will mention that i am going to take the blood for the investigation the uh, examiner can ask which investigation doctors if examiner is not asking you still have to verbalize about the investigation if examiner ask you if examiner don't ask you but you have to still verbalize which uh, investigations so in this case blood group cross matching routine blood investigation iron study clotting profile kidney function and liver function test these investigation you are going to mention either examiner is asking you or not apart from this you will mention what you will verbalize that i will request 6 unit of o negative blood as well this is the important point so here is the point you have passed the two large bore we can also you have mentioned about the what uh, in relevant investigations but uh, now blood pressure is low so blood pressure is low you are going to give so what you are going to do you are going to give iv fluid 1 liter in 15 minutes up to 2 liter in the first or you have to mention this 1 liter in first 15 minute and maximum up to 2 liter in the first hour and you will also give the injection omeprazole 40 mg to your patient as well please mention after doing this what you will do you will again reassess the blood pressure of your patient we will reassess the blood pressure of our patient in rest of the cases we always ask how are you feeling now but in this case patient is vomiting as you will be in front of the patient you will uh, observing the patient and at the same time the important thing here is blood pressure so repeatedly we will keep checking the blood pressure of patient then we will move toward the d and in the d we have to verbalize about blood pressure and temperature and we will again reassess the blood pressure if blood pressure is improved we will continue our assessment like we will move toward the e but if blood pressure is still low what we will do uh, now definitely examiner will say doctor assume that you have 6 unit of o negative blood so we will attach 2 unit of o negative blood 2 ml per minute okay so we will start the blood in this way and after attaching the blood we will reassess the patient so now we have done the d and now we are moving toward the e so in the e you will verbalize adam i am going to expose your i am going to expose your tummy check the abdomen quickly so we will quickly check the abdomen okay quickly mean just do the palpation or just do the inspection and then quickly move toward the private area and verbalize i am going to check your private area and what you have to do you have to insert the catheter in the 
exposure of the private area so after doing this you will reassess the blood pressure if blood pressure is improved start discussion with the patient still low we will add more blood so in this way we have to manage the hematemesis station basically in the hematemesis station we have to manage the blood pressure now definitely when you will attach the blood uh, your examiner will stabilize the blood pressure and now you will move toward the plan so definitely patient will be stable we will explain the condition and management which we have done to our patient like a patient is taking the painkiller we will say as you mentioned in the history that you are taking the painkillers for a couple of years so i am suspecting that this could be the reason of your uh, bloody vomit if patient uh, is post endoscopy then you will say that if, uh, as you mentioned that you underwent endoscopy in the morning so i am suspecting that this could be the reason so then you will admit the patient after admitting you will mention that i am going to involve my senior or the specialist for what for endoscopy don't try to forget mentioning endoscopy you have to mention endoscopy in this hematemesis station this is very very important key point you can mention about the further investigation like the x-ray rectum abdomen and then you will advise uh, on the trigger of the disease and the safety netting so this is the way where you are going to attempt the hematemesis station it can come after endoscopy or post uh, you know uh, long term use of the painkiller so you have to manage your patient in this way if you are going to manage if you are going to follow this approach please be assured that you will follow uh, sorry if you are going to manage if you are going to follow this approach please be assured that you will get maximum maximum marks in your simmen station thank you very much